Welcome to the next Mind of War project video. In this video we're going to continue to explore the issue of surprise. We're going to take a look at Julius Caesar as an embodiment of surprise on the battlefield. Suetonius uh, mentions in his accounts of Caesar what has become quite a famous uh, quote in reference to Caesar and Caesar's speed of movement and that is Veni Vidi Vici, came, saw, conquered. And Suetonius is referring to Caesar's Pontic triumph and he recalls um, one of the signs written on one of the war carts which said, came, saw, conquered, veni, vidi, vici. But Suetonius emphasizes this refers not, like to the rest, to the deeds of war, but to the speed with which he had won it. Caesar moved quickly and achieved surprise and through speed and re resolution was able to effect victory on the battlefield. In the Roman uh, stratagems of war, there's an account of when uh, Caesar comes up against uh, Vercingetorix, um, the king of the Gauls, and the two armies are encamped on either side of a river. And this is what uh, happens, and the account provides a, an interesting point about surprise, speed of movement, and resolution of action. So Caesar's on one side of the river, which appears to be impractical to cross. The Gauls are convinced of this, and this is where the author takes it up. Caesar made no open attempt to cross it, which drew on him the contempt of the barbarians and gave them confidence on the presumption of their security. Again, on the presumption of their security, but of course Caesar doesn't let this lie. In the night he sends a couple of legions, um, they find where a bridge has been previously built, they chop down wood, they make a new bridge, and the impact uh, of that and the movement of Caesar and his armies obviously has a devastating impact on the barbarians. And this is what the account, and this is how the account goes. When advancing immediately against the Gauls, they easily routed them, astonished at the unexpected approach of an enemy and unprepared to receive them. Caesar, with the rest of his army, effected a passage across that bridge and by his resolution and address and the rapidity of his movement struck terror into all of Gaul. This surprise, the speed of movement, the willingness to act resolutely has an impact far beyond the battlefield, which gives us an insight into why surprise and why speed of action is so important. It has a disproportionate impact, not just on the enemy on a battlefield, but well beyond. As word spreads, as people realize they're up against an opponent who will act resolutely, who will move at speed, and who they are unprepared to meet both mentally and physically. Appian provides another uh, account, which provides a really uh, insightful aspect of uh, what Caesar did and how he acted. And here's what Appian has to say. As for Caesar, he indeed sent for his army, but as always, he exploited the dismay caused by his speed of execution and the fear engendered by his daring rather than any strength created by his preparations. He decided to make the first move in this great war with his 5,000 men and forestall his enemy in occupying vital points in Italy. And this is an account of Caesar going up against Pompey. And Caesar moved quickly with resolve with the forces he had rather than waiting for more. And what that did to Pompey is it took away Pompey's options. He narrowed Pompey's options in Italy by Caesar immediately grabbing those vital points. He took the initiative, he moved quickly, he surprised his enemy, but he took away his enemy's options and freedom of movement. If Pompey wanted to take those vital points, he would now have to go and fight for them. Instead of acting um, proactively, um, Pompey was forced to be reactive. Um, to Caesar's actions. And Appian continues, um, because one of the things that's captured in this issue of surprise and speed and resolution of action is that people often take a while to recognize and prepare adequately for danger. 
there's all this expectation that militaries move and train um, with an expectation of fighting, and yet the number of times militaries are caught by surprise is quite astounding, given it's something that should be prepared for. And yet the resolution to act and act with determination to put forces on the move, to take ground, um, highlights to others a willingness to fight, which often will keep people, catch people by surprise as much as any um, stratagem. It's that resolution to act, do stuff, to fight, which highlights to an adversary that willingness and readiness to engage, to fight, to risk death, to win at all costs. And that in itself has a psychological impact. Speed takes advantage of perceptions, um, takes advantage of assumptions and mindsets of the opponent. Um, it's not just about acting quickly, it's also about the mindset of the adversary. If speed of action is anticipated, then it doesn't have the same impact as if speed is coupled with the enemy's unpreparedness. This resolution to act, to take the initiative to actually do something is particularly important in battle and shouldn't be underestimated. It's speed, it's surprise, it's resolution. It's taking options away from an opponent and it's taking the initiative. 